Good afternoon, wonderful people. It's nice uh, having you here on the show. Remember, as promised, uh, we will be bringing you down here to Ndone Bomb in uh, around local government uh, area where uh, National Ginger Association of uh, Nigeria uh, deemed it cognizant to uh, bring in a ginger plantation who uh, has uh, a lot of health and benefit to humankind here at uh, Ndone Ebom, Oruan local government area. Of course, I remember on our uh, advert yesterday, we told you we are going to be engaging the South South Chairman, uh, Mr. Friday Essienton Captain. In a media chat, of course, uh, that's what we're doing right now on the Milan Times. So, joining us on, on the show, of course, uh, looking at the farm background, uh, you have seen a lot of people engage uh, in a farm work in accordance uh, with uh, agricultural processes. Of course, all these uh, people have been able to change uh, the tapestry in agricultural sector. Uh, I have uh, with me here. Uh, on the talk show, uh, Captain uh, Essien Fan, who represents uh, the National Association of uh, Ginger Plantation here, uh, the whole of uh, South South. Uh, good afternoon, sir. It's uh, nice uh, meeting you once again. Remember, you gave us lots of promise uh, when we came for the media chat uh, last year. Of course, uh, I think uh, precisely August, and this is making some year, a year and a uh, oh. few months since we came visiting you. How has it been? Well, my good friend Joshua, Ibom Voice Media, you are welcome once again to the site of this farm, National Ginger Association of Nigeria, Akwaibum State Chapter in Ndonebum, in Oran local government area. Speaking with you now is the Vice President, South South of National Ginger Association of Nigeria. Um, if you can re recall very well, it was on the 7th of uh, July that, excuse me, sorry, 7th of June. Yeah, 7th of June, I still remember. Yeah, 7th of June, yeah. uh, 2001, mm -hmm. 21. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, how are you able to put this up within a space of, uh, I think it's just two years right now. How was this uh, able to come up streams and uh, looking at the, those diving Think, uh, and um, but joining uh, uh, economy system in the Nigeria. <laughs> oh, you are too much, Joshua. I see in everything that you want to do, if you put God first, too, okay. uh, you will make it. Okay. As a member of National Organization of Nigeria, I came to Okwabum State. I was invited even today to be here to witness the harvest. They have started harvesting it, I uh, think, yesterday. Oh, wow. So, That's great. Yeah. Uh, I go around the states. Mm. I'm not only for Kwaibum State alone, oh, wow. as you know. Mm. I'm for all the states in South South. Mm. So I came to witness how they are harvesting the Okay, thank you. Yeah. But I've seen that. Yeah, we've also witnessed that. Uh, the same with you. Uh, what do you hope to achieve? Uh, I mean, what's your aims uh, having brought uh, this uh, formidable uh, uh, initiative to Kwaibum State people? Well, it's a one, it will cause employment for the. You can see in the farm, you have see how many people are in the farm. Yeah, I remember you promised yeah. 5,000 job, job opportunities, opportunities uh, yes. to uh, acquire Bomo indigents. We are and of course, I've seen a lot of people walking around here. Yeah, they are still growing because from here we have about another 50 something hectares okay. to be planted. Wow, at that's, that's, a, that's a wonderful one. Yeah. Okay, in five years, so where do you hope to be? Oh, five years, we are talking about, about uh, 1,000 hectares, more than 1,000 hectares of. Uh, ginger in five years time wow. and at that point you will see the industry of ginger will come up processing mm. marketing and other things mm. employment mm. will be so massive wow that's great of course uh, we <laughs> will be having direct and indirect uh, employment and you've done really provided uh, jobs opportunities to acquire women indigenous thank of you very course. much let me commend you for that thank you very <laughs> much <laughs> my friend mr Sien Nton, yes. uh, let me ask you uh looking at the the numerous uh, benefits that uh, ginger has uh, brought to humankind. In what way have you been able to sensitize this to the people? Because I know a lot of people out there do not know about uh, these uh, numerous benefits uh, of ginger. Well, uh, for now, we have uh, raw ginger here. We've not gone into processing yet. Mm. But I, I think uh, the entire no Nigeria no Federation no should know yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what measures have you kept? to cop this. Oh well, as you are talking with me, this is a measure. Yeah, I know, we understand. With this one, it will go further. <laughs> I know you can spread it. Yep. Than myself going from radio to radio, house to house to do it. This one is a big 
show today. Uh, okay. I know the whole world will hear of what we are okay, doing Okay, thank today. you very much. I commend you for that. But I, I think you still need to know, uh, I mean, it's, it's not just uh, one media house uh, who will take uh, uh, the publicity aspect. Uh, you still need to go extra mile. The radio stations are uh, because uh, I think uh, the media house is just coming in. I and mean, we are just uh, not trying to resolve the functions of uh, television authorities. You still need to go under the radio stations uh, which have done uh, a great work in some mountain that they are reportage to investigative and uh, ethical journalism. Yeah. And you still need to go on that also. Okay, coming back to the gender plantation and circulation uh, here in Akwaibom and Nigeria at large, uh, what percentage do you favor Akwaibom being son of the soil? Do you give a certain percentage, a bit higher percentage to Akwaibom in circulation? Or do you leverage it as it's done in uh, maybe other states of the South South region? Um, well, for now, yeah. in Akwaibom state, the government of Akwaibom state are yet to come in. Yeah. To the assistance of the ginger plantation in a private state. Okay. Once we have one on one talk, okay. a conference table with the governor or with the ministry, mm. then we will not talk of STEM. Does that bring this to this? Uh, what do you really need uh, from uh, the state government? All we need is their support, assistance. Mm. One, of one of the most important things is land. Okay. Clearing of land, getting us the inputs, then we can go on to plant the ginger for the state. Okay. That is our job. Okay, that was uh, very great. Uh, uh, should Aquaibon State Government consider partnership with you on this uh, ginger plantation right here in Donabum? Or maybe give you other lands? Okay, accept to partner with you in any means at all. What, 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 and what have you been able to leave in terms of agricultural uh, processes? Have you been able to meet uh, the criteria requested and prerequisite qualifications uh, as it has to do with the farm plantations uh, and agricultural processes? Honestly, you've spoken well, sir. Uh, if a man wants to come, I mean, to partner with us, hmm. we accept him. Okay. We have terms of partnership. Okay. Percentage, what he will bring in and what I will bring in mm. so that we partner together. You're talking about a Kwaibon state government. Yes. Do you think you've met the criteria in terms of agricultural process? I, yeah. For now, mm. for now, as long as we are planting ginger here, yeah, mm. we are into ginger. Okay, we this, is, this is an association. We are yes. talking about the National Ginger Association. association. Maybe in Nigeria or maybe uh, in uh, South Africa or Sahara Desert. Uh, have you been able to register with a corporate organization so who gives yeah. license to agriculture? Process. Of course, of course. National Ginger Association of Nigeria has registered with corporate affairs, okay. registered with other organizations outside the world, exporting the ginger. Oh, wow. wow. We are not only planting ginger in Nigeria to eat here in Nigeria, we are talking about processing and exporting <laughs> in tons. Yes, yes. Wow. Wow, this is this is great. Okay, I I would love to have uh, I think you mentioned uh, a consultant, uh, yes. Mr. Uh, uh, Engineer Emmanuel Sien, who has been in charge of agricultural processes on the south south mm -hmm. region of Haradanza and uh, Nigeria at large. Uh, I just met him, a uh, gentleman. Please, uh, let's have you, sir. Uh, You're welcome. How, how has it been on the uh, the consultative uh, processes you uh, considered here in Nigeria? And quite at last, I heard so much about you and. It able to help acquire uh, uh, people, farmers, uh, to be precise, uh, uh -huh. uh, in curtailing or taking funds uh, to agricultural processes and be able to develop in the acquire uh, state and uh, Nigeria. Uh, how, 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 how has this gone? Let's get to meet you. Yeah, thank you very much. I remain Evangelist Emmanuel Lysian, the agricultural consultant. Uh, the Ginger Farmers Association of Nigeria, acquire chapter, they are not just farmers. They are real farmers, okay. in the sense that they did something that breaks my heart. As uh, the cooperative and association, without any intervention given to them, mm. they could cultivate over five hectares by themselves. Okay. I've never, I've gone around states. Mm. I've only seen portfolio farmers who always sit out for cooperative meetings. Yes. Yep. and after which go to government to wear uniform and government give them fertilizer and they will go and sell it and put it in their pocket. That's but these people are not like that. I have been consulting for different farmers association. These are the most zealous farmers I've ever met that they could contribute money from their own pockets to plant ginger. This one is not, they snap it. As you can see, that is the harvest, and they started this harvest since yesterday, wow. Wow. and they have over, mm. as of today now, based on their harvest, they have over seven metric tons from the effort they have put. 
So I think uh, uh, 